Welcome to lesson two, part one on integers in the number line. Today we're going to talk about what integers are, how they fall into the number line, and some of their applications. First, let's talk about the definition. An integer is described as a set of all numbers, positive and negative, as well as zero. Integers are, include only whole numbers, so no decimals. As you can see, 4, negative 10, even 4,651. We take a look at the number line, and we look at the numbers that can fall into it. We have 0 right in the middle of the number line, the positive number extended to the right, and the negative numbers to the left. So how do you write it, and how do we think to put integers on our basic number line? We have three numbers, for example, 2, negative 1, and 4. To find our 2, we go to the right of 0, two spots, and we can connect our 2 to the 2 on the number line. And we do the same things for the negative 1. We find the negative 1 to the left of the number line, and we find the negative 4 even further to the left of the 0 on the same number line. Any integer can fall easily onto the number line. An excellent example of a real-world number line would be a thermometer, and what the numbers on a thermometer tell us about real-world examples, especially since it has both positive and negative. So imagine it is 60 degrees on a day, and we have a temperature change that then results in it being 87 degrees. So if it went from 60 to 87, what ended up happening? Did it get colder? No. It got hotter because the number got further away from zero, and the number got bigger. Thinking about the same scenario, let's say that on a different day, we initially record a temperature of 10. We have a temperature change at some point in the day, and it gives us negative 8. Going from 10 to negative 8, what happened? Number got smaller, so it got colder. So what we have is a numerical change on a number line with a real-world effect. Another good example we can think about number lines is think about football players on football fields. They run from one spot to another for a certain yard. And we think, well, how does the number line then affect what we're talking about? Particularly if we're thinking about how many numbers there are between negative 6 and 10. If we were to start at negative 6, how many times would we have to move in order to get to positive 10? Well, what is it from negative 6 to 0? And then what is it from 0 to 10? Counting these spots, we know that there are 6 places between negative 6 and 0 and 10 places between 0 and 10 for a grand total of 16 spaces. And since we're moving to the right, it's a positive 16. In many ways, we can use a number line to help us with our addition and our subtraction problems. So how does the number line fall in to our world? Where are the connections? We saw temperature already, but we know that they can also be connected to money and the idea of having negative money or positive money, and of course, players running around on the football field. Hopefully the number line will help you better understand integers as we move forward.